Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perek Rishon, Daf Yud Bet Tenbe, from the top of the page. Continuing from the previous page. Amar Rabbi Hanan, Afilu Bal HaChalamot Omer Lo, L'Adam L'Macha Humet. Even if the Master of Dreams says to a person, Tomorrow you will die, Al yimna atzmo min harachamim. He should not refrain from attempting mercy. Shneemar, for it stated, Ki berov chalomot v'havalim udvarim harbe ki et ha elokim yira yira. For with all my all the multitude of dreams and the empty prophecies and many words, only fear God. I Meaning you can escape from the uh, from the fates of your dreams if you pray. Miyad, immediately. Um, so still in regard to Chizkiyahu, Vyasev Chizkiyahu Panav Al El Hakirvit Palel El Hashem, and Chizkiyahu turned his face to the wall, and he prayed to Hashem. Maikir, what does it mean the wall? Amar Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish, Mikirot Libo, the wall from the walls of his heart. Shneemar, Me'ai Me'ai Ochila Kirot Libi. Begomer, my innards, my innards shatter the walls of my heart. This is from um, Yirmiyahu. Uh, yep. Alternatively, Rabbi Levi Amar, <coughs> Al Iske Hakir, uh, turns it, meaning it turned, he turned his attention to the matter of the wall, uh, meaning the wall of the Beit Hamikdash. Beit Hamikdash Amar Lefanav Chizkiyahu said before God, Ribono Shel Olam, Master of the Universe, Uma She Shunamit Shelo Asta Ela Kir Achat Katana. If the Shunamite woman, who made only a single small wall for uh, for Elisha, Hechieta et Bena. He brought her son back to life. Avia ba shechipa et hahechal kulo bechesef uvezahav. My father's father, King Solomon, who covered the entire temple with silver and gold, al achat kama vechama, certainly, um, certainly save. Uh, so you should certainly save, meaning you should save Chizkiyahu's life. Zechana et Asher hit halachti lefanecha be emet of a lev shalem va tov be necha asiti. Remember now the manner in which I have walked before you truthfully and wholeheartedly, I have done that which is good in your eyes. May va tov be necha asiti. What is I have done that which is good in your eyes? Ama rav yoda ma rav she samake ola litfila that he joined redemption to the prayer that is. Again, the bracha Ga'al Israel, just but just before the start of the Shemun Esrei. Uh, second answer, Rabbi Levi Amar, She Ganaz Sefer Refuot, that he hid the book of remedies. Um, I'll just read this. The Book of Remedies contained various instructions regarding the natural healing properties of all the various herbs and grasses in existence. Those who are ill relied upon these natural remedies and refrained from appealing to God for healing. His care who therefore hid the book so that the ill would be compelled to throw themselves upon God's mercy. Um, Rabbeinu Bachia states that God made these healing properties known to Moshe in order to test the Jews. God wished to see whether they would recognize that all healing is from God and appeal to him, or whether they would place their trust in the Book of Remedies. Chizkiah, who hid the book when it began to lead people astray. Since the act of hiding the book demonstrated Chizkiah's faith in God's healing, he invoked this act in, in his own plea for healing. Uh, there's a dispute um, about about the above description of the Book of Remedies, it is maintained, um, Rambam and Meiri maintain, that it was a book of magical healing written by a student of astrological 
um, studies. It was originally written only for study of magical phenomena, which is permissible, but was later turned to practical use by unrighteous people. Since such healing is forbidden by the Torah, his Kiyahu was compelled to hide the book. Other opinions re regarding the origin of the Book of Remedies include Radak and Rashba, who hold that it was compiled by Shlomo HaMelech, King Solomon, uh, and uh, who states that these remedies were recorded by one of Noah's sons, who learned of them from an angel. That's interesting. Back to um, Chizkiyahu hiding the Book of Remedies. Tana Rabbanan, Shisha Dvarim Masach Chizkiyahu HaMelech, six acts that King Chizkiyahu did, Al Shlosha Hodu Lo. And that the sages acquiesced to him regarding three of them. Ve'al shosha lo hodu lo. And did not acquiesce to him regarding the other three. Al shlosha Al shlosha hodu lo. The three acts that the sages acquiesced to him about were... Ganaz Sefer Refot Behodulo, that he hid the Book of Remedies and the sages acquiesced. Kitav Nechash Hanachoshet Behodulo, he ground up the copper serpent that Moses made and the uh, sages acquiesced. Gerer Atamot Aviv Al Mita Shel Chavalim Behodulo, he dragged the bones of his father. His father's name is Achaz. <clears throat> he dragged he dragged it to the grave on a bed of ropes. And the sages acquiesced. And the sages did not acquiesce to him regarding the following three acts. Satam me gichon the he stopped the waters of Gihon. The sages did not acquiesce. Kitzatz daltot hechal ve shibram melech ashur velo hodulo. He cut off the doors of the temple and sent them to the king of Assyria. And the sages did not acquiesce. Iber nisan ben nisan velo hodulo. He intercalated that the month of Nisan into the previous year during Nisan uh, and the sages did not acquiesce. Well, me later lay the Chizkiyahu, but did Chizkiyahu then not see... Sorry about the pauses in between, I'm just reading notes to these. But did Chizkiyahu then not subscribe to... Um, uh, not subscribed to the uh, issue about Nisan. Hachodesh Hazel Lachem, but Rosh Hachodashim, Rosh Hachodashim. This month shall be for you the beginning of the month, of the months. Zen Nisan ve'ein Acher Nisan. This may be Nisan, but no other may be Nisan. Ela Ta'a Biti Shmuel. In fact, he made an error regarding Shmuel's ruling. To Amar Shmuel, Ein Ma'abrin Ma'abrin Et Hashana Be'Yom Shloshim Shel Adar. We do not intercalate uh, a month into the year of the thirtieth of Adar. Ha'il Berawi Lekovo Nisan, since it is eligible to be designated uh, Nisan. Sava Ha'il Berawi Lo Amrinan. So Chiz Yachul made a mistake, he held that we do not say uh, that since this day is, is eligible and therefore uh, he extended the year on the 30th of Adar. Just scroll down on the screen. So on the screen, we're just at the top, we just finished Lo Amrinan, 
uh, on the page, it's about halfway down the middle section. So we're about to start Amar Rabbi, Amar Rabbi Yochanan. Amar Rabbi Yochanan Mishum Rabbi Yossi Ben Zimra. Rabbi Yochanan said in the name of Rabbi Yossi Ben Zimra, Kol Hatole Bishut Atmo Tolin Lo Bishut. Acherim. Anyone who depends upon his own merit um, for prayer, they make his prayer dependent upon the merit of others. But anyone who depends on the merit of others in prayer, they make his prayer dependent upon his own merit. Moses depended on the merit of others um, when he prayed on behalf of the Jewish people. Shneemar, Zachor la Abraham le Yitzchak ul Israel avdecha. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servants. Talu lo bischot atzmo. They made his. Um, so therefore, his prayer was dependent upon uh, his own merit. Shnema for it stated, Vayomer lash le hashmitam lule moshe bechiro amad ba peret le fanav la shiv chamato me hashkit. And he spoke to destroy them, were it not for Moshe, his chosen one who stood in the breach before him, to turn away his wrath from destroying. Chizkiyahu tala bischot atzmo, Chizkiyahu depended upon his own merit. Tichtiv, zechana et asher hitalachti. Lefanecha, remember now the manner in which I walked before you. Talo lo bizchot acherim. They made, they therefore made uh, his prayer dependent upon the merit of others. Shemar ve ganoti el ha'ir hazot le hoshia le maani or le maan david abdi. And I will shield the city to save it for my sake and for the sake of my servant David. So Chizkiel's prayer was answered not in his own merit but in the merit of King David. Bahainu de Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, and this is uh, in accordance with Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, to Amar Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, my dichtiv, that which is written, Hinela shalom mar li mar, behold the peace, it is bitter for me a bitterness. I feel she shiger lo hakadosh baruch shalom. Even at the time that the Holy One blessed his, he sent his yahu peace, mar hu lo. It was bitter for him because it didn't come by his own merit. Nasena aliyat kir katana. Let us now make a small aliyat aliyat kir, which is about to be discussed. Rav 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 Ushmuel. Chad Amar, uh, Rav and Shmuel, uh, each one, one, one of them said, Aliyah Perua Haita Veke Ruha. It was an unroofed upper chamber and they roofed it. The Chad Amar, but the other said, Ach Sadra Gedola Haita Vechuka Vechilkuha Lishnaim. It was a large hall and they divided it in two with a wall. So in the first one, Aliyah Prua Haita Bekeruha. So you can see the first word and the fourth word, Aliyah and Bekeruha, is like the Aliyah Tekir. So an unroofed upper chamber, and they roofed it. So first it was unroofed. So it was an upper chamber uh, that was roofed, and the other one said, and the other one said it was a large hall divided in two. Bish Lamalamandamar Achsadra, according to the one who says it was a hall um, that had a wall in, uh, put into it, all is well. Haino Dechtiv Kir. And this is why it is written kir, which generally means wall. Ela lemaan de amar aliyah. 
but according to one who says it was an upper chamber, my care, what is what is a care? No what was needed to prepare it. She She Keruha, which is from the first quote or the first interpretation or explanation, Shekeruha because they roofed it. Ishlama Laman Damar Aliyah, according to the one who says an upper chamber, all is well. Hainu Dikhtib Aliyat, Aliyat, that is why it's written Aliyat, an upper chamber. Ela Laman Damar Achsadra, but according to the one who says it was a hall, my Aliyat, why is it called an Aliyat? There's no upper chamber, they call it a hall. Me'ule Shebabatim. Uh, the word aliyah means the best of the rooms. And now the second part of the verse. Venashim, sorry, venashim lo shamita v'shulchan v'chisem menora. So this is the continuation of the verse. Um, Nasena Aliyat Kirktana. So the full, in English, it fully says, Let us now make a small Aliyat Kir, and let us place there for him, that is a leash, a bed, a table, a chair, and a lamp, and it will be that when he comes to us, he will retire to there. So the question is, what's an Aliyat Kir? Um, the reason this is talked about now is because in Hizkiah's prayer, he mentioned a room built by a Shunammite woman for the prophet Elisha. So the Gemara is now um, talking about this incident. So the rest of the verses, Venasim lo shamita veshulchan vechise umenora, and let us place there for him a bed, a table, a chair, and a lamp. Ama Abaye ve itema rabbi itzak, Abaye said, or maybe it was rabbi itzak, one who wishes to, to derive benefit may derive benefit. Ke Elisha, um, as we learn from Elisha, al But one who does not wish to derive benefit um, does not need to accept benefit. Kishmuel haramati, as you learn from uh, Shmuel the Ramahite, Shinemar. For it says, Uchubato Haramata ki sham beto, and his return was to the Rama, for his home was there. The Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan, had trouble with this and said, Shekol makom shalach sham beto imo, that in all the places that Shemuel visited, his home was with him. The Tomer El Isha Hinena. Yadati ki ish kim kadoshu. And she said to her husband, Behold, now I know that this is a man of God and he is holy. And this is what the Shunammite woman said about Elisha. Ama Rabbi Yossi, but Rabbi Hanina, Rabbi Yossi, the son of Rabbi Hanina, said, Mikan she haisha makeret beorchin yoter min haish. From here we say a woman recognizes um, the qualities in their guests more than a man does. Kadoshu, he is holy. That's from the verse as well. Mena yada, where do we, from, how did she know this? Rav or Shmuel, Rav and Shmuel, Chadamar once said, Shelorata zvub over al shulchano, because she never saw a fly pass upon his table. The Chadamar and the other said, Sadin shel pishtan hatia al mitato. Um, and because she spread a linen sheet upon his bed, Velorata Kari Alav, and never saw upon it um, a seminal omission, which is proof of his purity in his mind. Kadosho, he is holy. Amar Rabbi Yossi Barabi, Barabi Hanina. So Rabbi Yossi, the son of Rabbi Hanina, said, Hu Kadosh Mashato Eino Kadosh. He, Elisha, is holy. His servant, Gehazai, is not holy. Shnei for it is stated, 
Begashi Gehazi le Hadfa. Gehazi approached Kushe the Hadfa. Ama Rabbi Yose, but Rabbi Hanina, Rabbi Yose, the son of Rabbi Hanina, said, She Achaza Behod Yafaya. It means he grabbed her by the glory of her beauty, that is, meaning uh, her breasts. So Gehazi was not a holy man. So when it says Kadoshu, it's a comparison of, between Elisha and his servant Gehazi. Over Alinu Tamid, who passes regularly among us, is another part of the verse, of um, that uh, uh, the Shunammite woman said about Elisha. Ama Rabbi Yossi, the Rabbi Hanina, Mishum Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov, the Rabbi Yossi, the son of Rabbi Hanina, said in the name of Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov, Kol ha me areach talmid chacham betoch beto uma ume ha nehu mich me nechasav min chasav. Anyone who has a Torah scholar in his house, he gives him benefit from his belongings. Maale alav hakatov ke ilum makriv tmidim. Scripture looks upon him as though he's bringing tamid offerings in the uh, to the Beit Hamikdash to the altar. Ama Rabbi Yossi be Rabbi Hanina Mishum Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov. Rabbi Yossi, the son of Rabbi Hanina, said in the name of Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov, Al Yamod Adam be Makom Gavoavi Hillel. A person should not stand in a high place and pray. El be Makom Namuch vi Hillel. But rather stand in a low place and pray. Shneemar. For it stated, Mima Makim Karatika Hashem, from the depths I called you Hashem. Tanya Nami Hafi, it has likewise been taught in a Barasa. Lo Yaamod Adam, Lo Al Dabe Kise, Velo Al Dabe Sheraf Raf, Velo Bemakom Gavoha Vipalel. A person should not stand upon a chair or upon a stool or upon any other high place and pray. Ella Bemakom Namuch Vipalel, but rather in a low place and pray. For there can not be any haughtiness before the omnipresent. Shinemar, uh, as it stated, Mamakim Karatikha Hashem, from the depths I called you Hashem, Uchtiv, and it's written, Tifila Leani Ki Yaatov. Prayer is for the poor one when he wraps himself. So prayer should be given in uh, like a poor person in a humble fashion. For Amar Rabbi Yossi, for Rabbi Chanina, Mishum Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov, and Rabbi Yossi, the son of Rabbi Chanina, said in the name of Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov, Hami Palel Tarech Sheyachavein Et Raglav, one who prays must align his legs, so they are side by side, like an angel, Shnema, for it stated, Veraglehim Regel Yeshara, and their legs were straight legs, were a straight leg. So um, there's an appearance or a perception of a simple straight leg. Amar Rav Yitzhak, Amar Rav Yochanan, Amar Rav Yossi, Amar Rav Chanina, Mishum, Rav Eliezer ben Yaakov, and Rav Yossi, the son of Rav Chanina, said in the name of Rav Eliezer ben Yaakov, Madiktiv, sorry, Madiktiv, that which is written, Lo tochelu al hadam, you may not eat upon the blood. Um, You may not eat before you pray upon your blood, meaning before you pray for your own well-being. Amar Rabbi Yitzhak, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Amar Rabbi Yosei, and Rabbi Chanina, Mishum Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov. Rabbi Yitzhak said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, who said in the name of Rabbi Yosei, the son of Rabbi Chanina, who said in the name of Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov. Anyone who eats and drinks and uh, in the morning and afterwards prays, Allah Hakatuvamer, regarding him scripture says, Ve Oti Hishlachta Akare Gabecha, and myself you have cast behind your body. Alti Kray Gabecha, do not read his Gabecha, 
meaning your body, Ela ge'echa, but it's ge'echa, which means your arrogance. Amakar hakarosh baruch hu lachar shinit ga'a zekibel alav machut shemaim. After this, one has exalted himself um, by attending to his own appetite. He um, only afterwards he accepts upon himself the kingship of heaven. So meaning he puts his own desires ahead of um, ahead of Hashem. Let me just scroll down to the bottom. Okay. So we've just finished Malchut Shemaim, which is um, just over halfway down on the right hand side of the last section. And so now back to the Mishnah in regard to the latest time for reading the morning Shema. Rabbi Yoshua Merad Shalosh Shalot. So Rabbi Yoshua says that uh, morning Shema can be read until the end of the first three hours. Amar Rav Yoda Amar Shmuel. Rav Yoda said in the name of Shmuel. Halakha ka Rabbi Yoshua, the halakha is in accordance with Rabbi Yoshua, which is, therefore you can recite Shema until the end of the third hour. And it, the Mishnah continues, Hakore mikan ve'elach lo hifsid. But one who recites the Shema from after that does not lose all the heavenly reward because he is regarded as one who reads from the Torah. Amara chista mar ukva, Rav Chista said in the name of Marukva, Uvilvad Shelo Yomar Yotzer Or, but this is provided he does not pronounce uh, Yotzer Or, who forms light, along with Shema. Because um, Yotzer Or needs to be said at the appropriate, ta- appropriate time, otherwise, uh, it's a blessing in vain. And this is, um, that's the first bracha. After Barachu, Yotzero, Barachoshech. May Tive, they ch- uh, and that's um, uh, a few paragraphs before Shema. May Tive, May Tive, they challenged him. Hakore Mikan Ve'elach Lo Hifsid, one who recites Shema from that point on, um, meaning after the third hour, does not lose all the heavenly reward. Ke'adzam Shel Kore Batorah. Because his reward is, is one who has read from the Torah. However, he recites two blessings before the Shema and one blessing after it. Tayovta de Rav Chista. This is a refutation of Rav Chista. So we can see that one who, writes, who says the Shema after the end of the third hour can say, can in fact say all the blessings along with it. Uh, and this refutes um, Rav Chista, who stated that one cannot recite the blessing who, um, Yotzer Or, who forms light. Te um, The Gemara agrees it is a refutation of Rav Chista. Ika de Amri, others say, Amar Rav Chista Amar Mar Ukva, Rav Chista said in the name of Mar Ukva, My Lo Hifsid, what does it mean he does not lose? Shelo Hifsid Brachot, that one who recites Shema, he does not lose um, the blessings. He does not lose um, the ability or the privilege to say blessings that come before and after Shema. Tanya Nami Hachid is likewise being taught in the Brisa, Hakore Mikan Ve'elach Lo Hifsid. One who recites Shema from that point on does not lose. Ke Adam Shekore Batora. It is as though one, even though it, it, it is one who merely reads from the Torah. Aval Mivarach Hushtaim Lefaneha Bachat Lechareha. Rather, he recites two blessings before Shema and one blessing after it. Amar Amar Rabbi Mani Rabbi Mani said Gadol Hakore Kriyat Shema Be'on Be'onata Yoter Meha Osek Batora One who recites Shema in its proper time is greater than one who is engaged in Torah. 
מיד קטני הקורא מכאן ואילך לא הפסיד כאדם הקורא בתורה. Since the Mishnah taught, one who recites Shema from that point on, that is the third hour, does not lose all his heavenly reward, but is rewarded as one who recites from the Torah, Miklal de Kore Be'onata Adif. It implies that one who recites Shema in its proper time is even better than one who studies Torah. Mishnah. <coughs> Now, this is a discussion about the, your position, your, uh, your position while reciting Shema. Beis Shammai Omrim, Beis Shammai says, Ba'erev kol adam yateveikra, in the evening each person must first lie down and then recite Shema, ova bokel ya'amod, but in the morning each person must stand while saying Shema. Shnema, for it says, uva shoch bechav kumecha, and when you lie down and when you arise. So this teaches that the Shema must be said while lying in the morning, while lying at night, in the morning while standing. Uveis Hillel Omrim, but Beit Hillel says, Kol Adam Koreb Keda Ko. Each person recites Shema according to his own preferred manner, whichever way he wants to, whether he's standing or lying or sitting or walking. Shnema, for in regard to this, it's stated, Uvelech Decha Baderach, and while you go on the way. So this proves that even one who is not lying or standing can say the Shema. Im kein lama ne'emar uva shach b'chav kumecha. If so, why is it stated, and when you lie down, and when you arise? Besha'a shebnei adam shochvim uva sha'a shebnei adam omdim. It is at that time that people are lying and is it at that time that people are rising? So those are the uh, times when people say the Shema, and that's what they're doing at those times, at night and in the morning. Amar Rabbi Tafon, Rabbi Tafon said, Ani haiti baba derech, I was once on the road, ve hiteti likrot kidivrei beit shamai. And uh, I laid down to recite it in accordance with Beit Shammai. That was at night. Ve sikanti ba'atmi mipnei halistim. But I endangered myself on account of the bandits. Uh, the bandits who attacked me while I was lying down. Amrulo, sage said to him, Kedei ha'ita lachuv batzmecha. If they had attacked you, it would have been fitting for you to have come to harm. Shavata al divrei beitilo, because you deliberately lied down for the Shema and you transgressed the words of Beit Hillel. The next page starts the Gemara. <coughs>